guys. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, I promised everybody I would do the reading on what the hell is her name? Uh, Demi Lovato and her new fiance. So I'm just getting the picture up right now. Whew. When I was asking for protection for this reading, I was kind of told that there's something that's being hidden here. I hate it. I have this like little hair here and I can't stand it. Um, anyway, besides the point, you're, you're just going to have to like look at it now. Okay, whatever. All right, now it went away. I'm going to get this right mixed up. Okay. All right, as, as soon as I look at this picture, my guy, my guys are saying this guy is just as much of a piece of POS as she is. Okay, I don't know about these people. I really don't follow Demi Lovato. I, I think I saw like a documentary on her maybe two years ago um, about her mental health and like um, stuff like that. I believe I saw something like that. So I do know like off the bat that she... Um, has some type of mental issue, which, you know, that doesn't make you a bad person, but. Ooh, she's into some darker stuff, but it. I'm not getting like a witch energy. I'm getting something else from her. I'm hearing staying in the shadows. Oh. Where are you? Okay, they're showing you that she has had a past. <laughs> So, her last incarnation, alright, so the easiest way for me to explain this is when she passed away last time, she was stuck in an astral world. Um, there's a movie, I think it's called Inception, uh, if you guys have seen it, listen, I've never seen it, but like I've seen like little glimpses of it. I'm not sure if the, the movie's Inception, but um, it was like this guy, he was like going into astral or at least the plot of it was him going in and out of astral and um, like the plot of it was him astral projecting type of thing. And there was a lot of scary images that he would see when he first started. And I, that was the premise of the movie. So I do see that she did live in the lower astral for a while. <clears throat> she is a lower astral being kind of for um, a long period of her time before she was able to incarnate as a human. Sadly, that's, I really thought this was going to be worse for her, but that's not like, it's bad, but it's not terrible. You know what I mean? This guy, whew, they're soulmates. Okay, so this guy is another one. Um, this is her, this is a very high soulmate connection. I'm, I'm seeing them, like, doing this together. Like, they plot on people together, almost. So she has met her match. Um, this is love. This is love for these two people. This is as much love as they could ever give and receive from each other. And I do feel like this is, you know, this is a very high soulmate connection. This is, like, a forever connection. I do see them, you know, getting married. I see them being together. I do see them having children. However... I, I never ask spirit if this is the person that somebody's going to be with for the rest of their life because I don't know. I, I feel like it's too far in the future for me to say this is for your forever person. But I do see that they may fight. They may be on and off again, even in their marriage. But they're going to stay together because there there's no other match between like there's no other higher match than these two people. Their spirit is very much embodied within each other. <clears throat> Alright. So I'll do a general reading for Demi. Demi is kind of a trickster. She definitely likes taking people down. Um, she's uh she gets like a thrill out of sabotaging people guys i am not trying to be mean you know i i really don't know much about demi um that whole camp rock era was kind of after like i was a little too old for for the things that she was in so i don't really know much about her um 
at all, honestly. And I have no hate, no shame. I, I really don't. Whatever. So I know there's going to be people that are like going to come for me saying, you know, that I'm lying because you guys love Demi. And like, like I said, I'm, I have nothing against her. I do see she's a trickster. Uh, I don't really exactly feel like. Okay, we're just going to read this one. I don't exactly feel like she has a mental illness. I feel like this is something that's just embodied in her spirit. She is just... Like I said, she is kind of from like a lower astral. She was an astral being for a long time. This is why she has a lot of spiritual influence over people. She's very manipulative um, from what I'm getting. And I'm kind of getting the same from him. Now, these two people are soulmates. Um, they are very interconnected. I feel like they've had many, many, many... Most of their incarnations have been together. <clears throat> this is like her partner in crime. They both get off on the same types of things. They're both mischievous. They find joy. They find fun in doing um, mischievous things together. And I feel like in their past lives, it was the same story. So... I feel like not one is worse than the other. I don't really think we know much about the husband, Ma Max Erich, that's his name. Um, but I do know that, you know, she is happy because she's met her match. I feel like this, it, it's like coming home. This is the feeling that they're getting from each other. It's like coming home to each other. I'm getting somebody else's energy on this guy and I don't want to say it because whatever um but I do feel like this is going to be a happy marriage this is their soulmate I feel like they're going to have two kids I see two kids um it may be a little bit rocky from from start to finish they may be on and off again and um kind of just do that but I do feel like eventually they're not going to like officially pump the brakes on the relationship. They may be separated for a couple years, but I don't feel like they're going to exactly pump the brakes forever. I feel like they are going to kind of end up together, you know, no matter what happens. And a lot of marriages in Hollywood are like, I feel are on and off again. So they, they definitely complete each other. And I think that they know that they're soulmates. I think that Demi is very intuitive, especially because she spends so much time in astral. When, you, when you're when you in astral like that, you um, gain a lot of spiritual knowledge. Um, I wanted to give you guys an example, but, you know, I have some younger viewers and um, it doesn't even really matter the age, but this is, it gets a little weird. But um, a lot of souls that have not crossed over will stay in as an earthbound spirit or they will stay in astral just to gain some more spiritual knowledge before they do cross over and um a lot of times when spirits do decide to stay in astral they become very intuitive they, this is how they gain their spiritual power um and i feel like him as well was one of these people that were in astral they were together this the life before not even the life, but like right before they incarnated here on this planet, they were both together. And they do both have a, a treaty or like an oath, whatever you want to call it, that they were going to meet again in this lifetime. So this is a very faded connection. There are other, you know, entities that are dragging these two together. Um, you know, this fate, I guess you can call them their guardian angels, because I that's what they would be called, their guardian angels, as what we see as our guardian angels. Um, I don't really feel like they're angels in, in her case, but whatever guides she has have been dragging um, her and him together. So I do feel like this is her forever person. They're never going to officially be done with each other, and... In some sick way, I feel like they are going to be happy. Uh, I hope I'm explaining this right. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please comment below. And if you guys would like a reading of your own, you can always email me. And I'm trying to get my website up.
by the end of this week, God willing. All right, guys, thanks so much.